down here on the deck. Logs everywhere, literally everywhere, scattered up through here. We've cut several trees in the last week and a half, and there's a bunch on the ground up through there. And I'm down here by myself today. Everybody had things to do, so I brought the ranger down because we're getting far enough back up the hill and to the west that it's a long walk, packing everything, and you're wore out by the time you get up there. And that's the reason I bought this ranger, it was just to save me some steps. And they are lifesavers because you can put a whole bunch of gear in the back of it, saws, gas, oil, uh, just everything you need. And you can drive up to where you're cutting or drive around to where you're cutting. Uh, we're getting far enough down now that uh, if we can find another good place to go up over the bluff or up the bluff through a draw, we'll probably cut the fence on down there and make another log deck on down because we've got about three quarters of a mile, if not a mile, to the west to go. So there'll be multiple staging areas by the time we finish this job up. And actually, this is kind of the second staging area here because we were originally staging way back up here. So, fire this bad boy up, and up the hill we shall ride. This is why I always tell uh, skitter drivers, it's crucial to keep a log road in good shape, lower your blade and clean everything out. That way we can get these things back up through there, even a pickup if we need to, which has been done on several occasions. We've got to try to pick a good path to go. Sometimes you just got to go where you can. In a lot of cases with this. We go ahead and walk it in. Pretty rocky. guys know I'm a fat kid. You know, the time I get walked up the hill back in my saw, my chaps on, my hard hat, gas and oil, all that, I'm kind of worn out by the time I get up here. So this does this a lot faster, saves me a lot of energy. And uh, not only that, the way back down, we go to lunch, we're done for the day. It's a long way back down that booger too. Sure makes things nice. Good view across there to the next bluff. And we've got several trees. We've got a winch up over the hill, and I think tomorrow that might be what we're gonna try to accomplish. I've got to cut that one off. I didn't. I think that one fell down in there, and he got it up out. And I didn't want to cut it off till he got it out. I think there's a story on that one. I don't know, I'm, I'm quite a ways ahead of the skitter driver on cutting, so. There's a bunch of trees from this little uh, ridge here on up to where we cut yesterday of that draw. And a lot of them are just, they've gotta be winched. There's no way we can get to them with the, with the grapple to get them. They're just in rough places. They're down over that steep sucker. I've got a lot of trees. I haven't even started cutting on that front ridge yet. That, that draw runs down to the creek there, the front of that bluff where a lot of the good white oak's been. We've been on up further up this draw, cutting some really good white oak. So, a lot of ground to cover. Trees laying everywhere in here. Pretty good little session this morning. Getting close to 11 o'clock, 10:45 in that area. I have to go up by Sedalia, Missouri, this afternoon to look at timber. So I'm gonna get my gas and oil and cut a couple on the way out, just to make me feel good about myself. Yeah, we had a pretty good morning. We've got trees laying down everywhere. We've got this uh, this little draw finished up where we're at here. These white oak run up here to the top of the hill for the break anyway. And there could be some more down the next break. Over the back side, I don't know. I haven't looked yet. I'll just have Kenny look when he's dragging. He can run the skitter over there and check it out. But we've still got so many trees to go. 
Uh, we've got a lot of good trees over here on the bluff, which on the way out, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut a couple of those because temptation. I just can't say no to them. You can see some of these trees cutting a little bad. They're old fire scar, stuff like that. But for the most part, they're cutting about like this one. Picture perfect. Now, I know the camera never does it justice on your what your angles and your slopes look like, but that's pretty level up here on top. On top of this glade. Then, uh... Here's part of that bluff. So there's a good group of white oak right there. <clears throat> there's more on around the bend there, good trees. Uh, several down below, of course, several running down that direction, all kind of on the side of it. So some of them we can get from the top here, winching them, some of them we can winch from the bottom. The uh, rough cutting when it's like that. It just seems like it's hard to get much done because every time you cut a tree, sucker shoots off downhill and you walk down the hill to top it then you walk back up to cut another one and it's a pretty repetitive motion and after about a dozen of them or so you're you're kind of over that <clears throat>